Some pretty shocking news in the past 24 hours is yesterday, Iran warned the United States will not be spared if this war in Gaza continues. And this comes as I let you know that tensions have been escalating between the United States and Iran. There have been attacks taking place all centered around the Israel and Hamas war. But what is very, very bold about this statement is take a look. It actually took place at the UN in the United States. The foreign minister for Iran stood before all of the UN on American soil and told the United States, you will not be spared if this war continues. Take a look at the video footage so you can see it for yourself. I say frankly to the American statesmen who are now managing the genocide in Palestine that we do not welcome to expansion of the war in the region. But I warn if the genocide in Gaza continues, they will not be spared from this fire. So let me know your thoughts. A pretty bold threat on the U.S. soil. Now, this comes, as I shared with you yesterday, that there have been new developments in just the past 48 hours that people are concerned about World War III sparking between the U.S., Iran, we've already got Russia, Ukraine, we have China and Taiwan issues, and it's all circling around Israel and Hamas. Now, take a look. I shared with you that President Joe Biden, when all of this began two weeks ago, warned Iran, do not attack the United States. Take a look. Made it clear to the Iranians, be careful. And as I shared with you in yesterday's video, a little bit of context, all of this is circling around the fact that Iran actually funds and supports Hamas to attack Israel. They want to destroy Israel and the United States is allies with Israel. So immediately Biden had warned Iran, do not attack the United States with the conflict that is going on. However, I also shared with you that over the course of the past two weeks, take a look at this. U.S. troops in the Middle East have been attacked 14 times and they have been linked directly to Iran. Now, President Joe Biden issued another warning in the past 48 hours. Biden warned there would be a response if Iran continued to attack U.S. troops. And what we heard is that overnight and throughout the day, more attacks took place and that number of 14 has now gone up to 20. And let me know your thoughts. Do other foreign leaders think that President Joe Biden's threats are empty? Do they not respect him as a leader as they continue to attack our troops regardless of what he has threatened? Well, take a look at this. According to the Associated Press, now U.S. fighter jets are striking Iran-linked sites in Syria in retaliation for the attacks on U.S. troops. And things are escalating between the United States and Iran. And now just yesterday, on U.S. soil, a bold claim by Iran that the U.S. will not be spared. And I'm going to share with you the latest updates on this and what they're saying. And let me know your thoughts. Are we on the brink of World War III? Is Iran also planning attacks to take place on U.S. soil? Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest. And I know that this is not the news that anybody wants to hear. However, if you appreciate the information, and I believe that information is power, then do me a favor, smash the like button if you appreciate the updates. And if you want to stay up to date on everything taking place, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. I'll let you know all the latest news that's unfolding. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in and get you caught up on the latest articles with tensions rising in the Middle East, all focused around Israel and Hamas, but now pulling in the United States, Iran, and people are saying we could be looking at World War III. All right, so as always, link in the description below to this article that just came out yesterday. I always cite the sources, put them on the screen, and read right from it so you can see it's the latest. And the article says that Iran's foreign minister, he warned at the United Nations on Thursday yesterday that if Israel's retaliation against Palestinian militants Hamas in the Gaza Strip doesn't end, then the United States will not be spared from this fire, he said. I say frankly to the American statesmen who are now managing the genocide in Palestine that we do not welcome an expansion of the war in the region. But if the genocide in Gaza continues, they will not be spared from this fire, he told a meeting of 193 members of the General Assembly on the Middle East. Israel has vowed to wipe out Hamas, which rules Gaza, in retaliation for an October 7th attack that killed 1,400 people and saw hundreds taken hostage. Israel has struck Gaza from the air, imposed a siege, and is preparing a ground invasion. Palestinian authorities say more than 7,000 have been killed. Hamas has told Iran that it was ready to release civilian hostages, adding that the world should push for the release of 6,000 Palestinians in Israel's prisons. 
the Islamic Republic of Iran stands ready to play its part in this very important humanitarian endeavor, along with Qatar and Turkey. Naturally, the release of the 6,000 Palestinian prisoners is another necessity and responsibility of the global community.